guys, as you can see, I've invited a special guest today, Julie. Hi! And this is my best friend, and today we are doing the best friend tag! Yay! <laughs> so, um, I realized I haven't done a tag video for like, ever. So I pretty much had to beg and persuade and almost borderline, like, threaten her to do no, this. No, you didn't. <laughs> we basically went on the internet and searched up what are the best friend tag videos, I mean, the questions are, and then we sort of picked out the ones that we think are kind of more interesting to answer and if you want to know more about us then give it a thumbs up and comment below and tell me what other questions you want to ask us and then we can answer them for you in another video so let's get started into it. number one is how and when did we meet primary school yeah grade five so grade five is 10 when we were 10 years old are you sure it's 10 years old yes dude oh grade five is 10 Ten all right, so old. 10 years old, how old, how, how old are we now? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that was like 18 years ago. Oh my god, 18 years ago. Yes. How old do you feel? I feel pretty old. Yeah. We met because our teacher got our names wrong. So he would call her my name and then he would call me your name. Mm -hmm. And then we're like, who is this chick that he keeps calling me? And then that's how we met. And then we realized we're completely different people and different like we look different yeah her. she has like big eyes and totally gorgeous and i had so like the slanty chilly eyes and i had like the, the worst haircut ever i still remember that haircut i was so tan so somehow we all got to know each other and then we started mm -hmm. hanging out with each other but then we actually really got we actually became better friends in college because we did the same like degree mm -hmm. so I, I went into teaching because um I was somehow so inspired by my English teacher. I was like, I want to be a teacher and change the world. Are you serious? Yeah. I wanted to do nursing at the time, but then I didn't get in. And the next thing was education. So I was like, okay, I'll just give that a go. And yeah. I can never imagine as a teacher. Yeah. And, and then coincidentally, it was, we were in the same course. Yeah. Next question is, what is a talent that you have? You know, Julie has this hidden talent. She's really shy, but she's actually a really good singer. What? That's so random, yeah, and that's enough. And she has a really good. <laughs> that is so random. Stop. You are just shy. See, see, she just gets all shy and stuff. But she actually has a really good voice. No, I don't really. But your talent. Those of you who don't know, this girl can do makeup in the car. No matter what speed, if you're like starting, stopping, like that, she can just whack on that eyeliner, that mascara. Oh. My gosh, she can do her whole face in the car while it's moving that's amazing that's talent you know how i practice by doing it on the bus because bus drivers are the craziest drivers out there they're like weaving and they're speeding and they're like stopping every single stop so if you can do your makeup on a bus you can do your makeup anywhere she used to do that all the time when we put the bus together it was very embarrassing the bus would be like this and she'd just be like really like into it it's just smooth hand movements and I'm like, whoa! So what is something that annoys you about the other person? Your lateness. <laughs> it's so obvious. Anybody who knows her will know that she's always late. Yeah. Ever since I've known her, primary school, high school, uni, even now occasionally, it is getting better, but wow, there was a stage where like, it should be so late that I think one time I waited, waited for you for like two hours or something. Yes, which I know is really bad. So please guys <laughs> do not be late. Late is a really bad thing Like I already told you in one of my videos that you know being late is actually um, it's disrespectful It gives people a bad impression. So try not to be late even though I am constantly saying that to myself Why don't you, why don't you take some of that? Well, actually, I'm not I haven't been late for like, you know, yeah, that's true You've for, been work, pretty good. for like a long like a long, long time back then it was like Julie would say no first to everything <laughs> And then you would like spend half an hour trying to persuade her and then she will turn from a no to a maybe. Oh, that's so and funny. And then after another half an hour persuading, then she will say yes. So whatever it is, we'll be like, hey, do you want to go watch a movie? She's like, no. I'm like, oh, come on, but this movie is so cool. It's only this and it has this person in it. And blah, blah, blah. She's like, okay, maybe. And then, like, well, then we can do this and then blah, blah, blah. blah. And she's like, okay, fine. So like, yeah. literally, it would take me like hours to, to persuade her to come out. Yeah. And then probably, sometimes by the time I persuaded her to come out, the movie's already finished. But you know. But you, you know why though? Because I had strict parents and yeah. I, you know, like I wasn't allowed no, out. See, that you're like often. really safe because you, you wouldn't even like stretch your boundaries. You wouldn't like yeah. try to like ask your parents like, hey, is it possible to go out? Like she, she wouldn't even bother. Like whereas me, I'd be like, hey, I want to go out. I want to go out. Because you were a rebel. <laughs> Let me out. Because anyway. you were a rebel. 
I like to push the boundaries a little. Like I like to I like to test the waters. Whereas this girl, she just you plays. like to test your mom's limit. <laughs> Where she's very like by the rules, behind the line. Yeah, know, safe. But you know, however, I did start stretching the boundaries. All right. So if we could go anywhere in the world together, where would it be and why? There's so many places. Um, yeah. But I think to I think Korea would be a good place to go with a girlfriend because you guys can eat, shop, all the makeup brands, you oh, know, no. all the skincare, like all the Korean food. This girl loves her um tofu spicy kimchi spicy tofu soup. Yeah. <laughs> spicy kimchi tofu soup. <laughs> Yes, that's my favorite, even yeah. though my stomach can't tolerate it. That's <laughs> I why I only have it once in a while. <laughs> I love my kimchi pancakes. And obviously, if I was in Korea, I'll like go crazy with the makeup or the mask, how cheap that is. Who takes longer to get ready in the morning? You. Definitely. This one. This one. You know why? You know why? You know why? Because she's so restrained by space. What? Have you not seen your makeup <laughs> cupboard? How do you find stuff in there? Oh, well, no, but realistically, you take the longest. I do have to admit, I used to take really long. That's like two I, hours. That's why I was always late because Minimum. I used to anticipate two hours. myself to get ready faster than I am. But right now, I don't do fake lashes anymore and I don't do like double eyelid tape anymore. So that has taken a lot of time out of my makeup routine. Heels or flats? Flats. Heels. Julie is flat all the way. Mm -hmm. Although she loves shoes, like she's obsessed with shoes. We can go out shopping and be like, hey, we need, we need to get some like, you know, towels and some cups, like some random stuff, and then she'll come home with a pair of heels. I want a lot of flats too. <laughs> yeah, no, they're just more comfortable. If you guys are from Brisbane, you know how laid back Brisbane is, and it's mm -hmm. it's considered to be overdressed when you're wearing heels. Yeah, but like like people stare at you. Yeah. When you're even if you wear heels in the city. Yeah. Which is, you know, people will stare at you. Yeah, it's really weird. And they'll be like, wow, you're overdressed. <laughs> it's like, pants or dresses? Dresses. Pants. Yes. I'm a pants girl, yeah. Why? Because they're just more comfortable and then, you know, you can wear them like every day. You can dress them down, you can dress them up. I'm literally living in leggings, which I like stretchy. Are you wearing clothes. leggings now? Yes, I am. And as dress because the dress will cover how oh. my waistline is growing underneath. So I love shift dresses. I can't do tight dresses either. You know. Hair up or down? You are definitely hair down. You down. You down, <laughs> girl. Down. You down. Yeah, she's definitely down. I even asked her. I'm like, hey, how would you have your hair up like on your wedding day? She's like, I had. I said it up. You said down. I said up. Dude, you told me in grade seven you wanted it down. <laughs> it's grade eleven. All right, favorite okay. animal. Your puppy. Turtle. Yeah. I oh know, I love my turtles. I think turtles are like the coolest animal in the world because they're like slow, you know? Mm. You can just like take a rest and they're just like, <laughs> like, <laughs> and they can like go to sleep. Is and that what you want to do? When they're ready to like walk again, they just come back out and start walking. Again. Oh wow, okay. That's awesome, right? Comedy, horror, or chick flick? Horror. Comedy and chick flick. Horror! Horror. That was back in the day when okay, I was yes. younger. Back in the days, this girl was, used to be obsessed with horror. Anything that was gruesome, that was disgusting, that was freaky, she'd be like, let's go watch it. Saw 1, 2, 3, 4. I remember I watched those with yeah. you and I was like, man, that's so effed up. I don't know why. It's just so weird, eh? I was really into horror movies. Not so much now. Like, if I, if we went to the movies and there was a horror film, romance, comedy, I would choose like romance, comedy over the horror film. But surprisingly, a lot of guys don't like yeah. horror movies. Actually, if you guys know why guys don't like horror movies, tell me. Blackberry or iPhone? iPhone. iPhone. Oh my god. iPhone. Totally iPhone all the way. Yes. I had a Blackberry for like two years and like it was literally like my life was black and white. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't take That's selfies. So I couldn't, you know, I couldn't play games. It was just like so boring. Yeah. But I, I mean, Blackberries are great for emails and you know, like, um, texting because you have like little keypad but when it comes to like all the things like fun social things that we do nowadays the most important thing for you is selfies I definitely need an iPhone well I need a good, <laughs> good phone with a good camera that can allow me to use apps that can help make me look more glamorous and beautiful because we all need a bit of filter you know in our life she has an iPhone right but this one never, <clears throat> never updates okay <laughs> she hardly used any apps Ain't nobody gonna talk about that. And I'm living like, oh, everybody's on phone. I'm like, why is there like a hundred updates like 
pending for her to like, update her thing. And she's like, when we're like already on OS 7 or OS 8, she's like, still OS 5. Like, no joke. I just, I don't know. I just don't take notice of any of those things. Like, I'm really bad with technology. Do you guys have anything matching? Why, yes, we do. Why, yes, we do. And bracelet? Yes. You, should, you got me a matching bracelet, bracelet yep. for my birthday, and I also got her a matching bag mm -hmm. for her birthday. Well, I actually got her birthday present first. And I'm like, hey, I really like that. And then I went and got a similar one, like, but it was on sale. So, yes. <laughs> so it's kind of matching. If you could only wear one makeup product, what would it be? For Julie, it's definitely mascara. I reckon eyebrow pencil. I would actually say brown eyeliner you know the reason why because I can use one brown eyeliner and I can do my whole face true yeah so I can do my brows I can do my eyeliner I can do my contouring which I know I need yes. if you want to see a video on that let me know <laughs> and I will do one and I'll show you anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope this was interesting to watch if you have any more questions that you want to ask us leave your comments below and maybe we can do a part two or if you guys want to see Julie do something else let me know. We can try to make that happen. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye!